What foods are absolutely delicious but are a pain in the ass to eat? Pomegranates, pain the butt seeds, and the juice really stains. One time I spent God knows how long opening a pomegranate. Finally got all the delicious seeds out. Took a bite, and found out I'm allergic to pomegranate and I did all that for nothing. My dad makes a really delicious cherry jam. But he doesn't remove the stones. Because spitting them out is part of the experience. Your dad is chaotic and I can't decide if it's in a good or bad way. Chaotic neutral. Prickly pear, also known as cactus fruit. These are a pain in the ass at every step. Picking them is a huge risk for getting stabbed by cactus needles. Peeling the skin off is way more challenging than other fruits and then they are full of seeds that cause major GI discomfort if you bite into them by accident. Now when you pick a pawpaw, or a prickly pear, and you prick a raw paw, well next time beware, don't pick the prickly pear by the paw. When you pick a pear, try to use the claw, but you don't need to use the claw. When you pick a pair of the big papa, have I given you a clue? Golly thanks blue, pineapple, so nice but they literally eat your mouth, or the enzymes do. I remember having a freshly picked pineapple in Costa Rica, so damn good, but my tongue was bloody afterward. For the last time, those were light bulbs, not pineapples. You know my vision isn't the best. Crab legs. King crab is the worst bastards will stab your buttery fingers. King crab is easy. Smaller crabs. That shit is cold long before you eat it all. Busting your ass for mere morsels. Coconut. Always have hard times breaking the shell and then picking all the delicious coconut meat. Axe swing. I usually put a razor blade on my dick and helicopter aggressively. Our brand new sentence. Those caramel apple lollipops. The question is, how does one eat these? Edit. Majority of the people who've responded saw Ops comment as caramel apples instead of caramel. Apple pops as it was written. As did I. Awkward lol. Relax your jaw so your teeth touch the caramel, get your teeth stuck. Wait, no, help. Any sour candy with the sugar crystals on them is here they're so good until you had a certain amount and then you just start scraping the roof of your mouth and your tongue raw? Edit. Y'all have some good tastes in candy. Ah yes, the pain salt. My favorite part of sour candies. My favorite pizza destroys my insides the next morning if that counts. Edit. I don't have any issues with lactose or gluten. I just really like spicy foods. There's a place near me who makes a pizza with 40 cloves of garlic and about a pound of spicy pepperoni on it. It is probably my favorite food but I am the stinkiest motherfucker alive the next day. Edit. To save replying to everyone individually. It's pizza my heart. They have locations all over the San Jose area. The Big Sur and Little Sur both have it with other toppings. But you can also get 40 cloves and add whatever else you want. I do this and add double pepperoni. It's a rare treat for me. All their pizza is really good. Even if you don't go for one of their crazier specialties. I'm glad to drive them business because they're awesome. I have a thing, where if I eat enough garlic I sweat raw onion smell through every pore for the next day. But I love garlic and would willingly sacrifice myself to the onion sweats for a 40 clove pizza. Mangoes. They are my favorite fruit but least favorite to clean up. Edit. A thanks for all the karma friends. And thank you for the good tips for eating my mangoes. Just eat them over the sink while shirtless. This guy gets it. Fresh pineapple. I eat while the acidity eats away at me. Artichokes. You can't eat a fresh artichoke. But holy shit it takes ages to prep and cook. And then you don't get that much out of a relatively expensive at least in the UK. Vegetable. There's a type of wild asparagus in the south of France that's absolutely delicious to eat. But you can only eat it in small quantities. As too much will give you diarrhea. So quite literally a pain in the ass. I wanna get constipated as hell and chow down on these freaky asparagus. Ever had a fresh jackfruit? They taste delicious. Like a cross between a leaflet L pineapple and a banana but good god the sap. 
The sap of a jackfruit is a construction-grade adhesive, and it is nearly impossible to open and eat without getting it everywhere. You can just barely get it off as by scrubbing with oil and then soap and water. The trick is to run your hands in oil before you open it. Works like a charm. Or wear gloves and rub oil on them as you're. Edit. Rub your hands in oil. Not run but it sounds funny so I'ma leave it. You should always lube up before you fuck with jackfruit. C-A-P-T-N crunch. Ugh, the roof of my mouth. So good though. Most people in the West consider carp to be a trash fish. You catch it, and then you throw it away. But it's actually the first domesticated fish. Farm raised for thousands of years in China. It's a delicious fish that takes on the flavor of whatever you decide to spice it with. And it can be cooked in a number of ways. However, it has a million tiny hair-like bones and it is a pain in the ass to clean and fillet. I think that's mostly why people don't eat it when they catch it. It's just really difficult to get all those bones out. I found the easiest way to deal with those hair-like bones is to either cook chunks of the fillets in a double broiler or to pickle the fillets. Both methods completely dissolve, remove those hair-like bones so you don't really have to mess around with a monsieur they just kind of disappear. But for a large fish, with a good meaty fillet, it's in my top 10 common fish to catch and eat. As a runner-up, gare is also a delicious fish that many people don't consider eating. The hardest part about cleaning a gar is cutting through their armor. And I don't mean scales or skin. I mean it's like cutting through thin steel. You need 10 snips or the sharpest knife in the world. But once you get through that, you get two long back straps that firm up and honestly taste like chicken. They have a texture when cooked like a firm chicken breast and like carp. They also kind of take on the flavor of whatever you spice it with. Neither species tastes fishy at all and are fun to prepare and cook and eat. Edit. I've been informed that it's double boiler. Not double broiler. But I've only ever heard of the latter so I'm gonna chalk that up to regional differences like soda. Versus pop. Edit 2. Okay. Double boiler. Fuck. Sorry, I've been wrong my whole life. You knew what I meant. Certain hot sauces about a day later. I never made the connection between heat going in and heat coming out until one of my roommates commented on it. Now I worry whenever I eat spicy food. I wish she had never told me so I wouldn't have to worry about it. Corn. It's not particularly hard to eat but it's just annoying to eat. It's delicious and I love it with salt, pepper, and butter, but the kernels always get stuck in my teeth and it stays there for far too long and can be difficult to remove. Okay this might sound really weird but maybe it'll help. I'll take a bite of like 2 to 3 rows of kernels. Then go to the top row above the cleared space. Put my front teeth on top. And bite, pull down so the kernels come out clean of their little uppods. Then I do that lengthwise, right to left and then start all over again with the next top row. Some people make fun of me for it but at least I'm not getting it stuck between my teeth anymore. I just realized I eat corn like an old-fashioned typewriter types. Helpful visual reference I guess. Edit. I really thought my one-off comment wouldn't gain this much traction but wow am I glad there are so. Many people who also eat corn this way. Also makes me giggle that my most upvoted comment is about corn. Shout out to my aesthetic corn on the cob eaters. Y'all are not alone. OMG. I'm not alone. I do this too. It's great cause you also get more of the corn off and your resulting cob is perfectly clean. Minus those three messy rows. Clearly the superior way to eat corn. Depending on where you get them. Flippin' tacos. It's like this stupid new trendy thing to put them in the smallest possible taco and then mountain so much food on it, that every single time you take a bite, half of the food in the taco falls out. Absolutely stupid. Yeah, this isn't a taco problem it's a messy food problem monsieur I love burgers but when you try to get too aggressive with the toppings you end up with a disaster. Put a tortilla under your bites and when the extra falls off, 
you end up with another taco. Repeat for infinite tacos. Sunflower seeds take forever to get a handful and gone in seconds. How are you eating them? Everyone knows you pop a handful in your mouth and crack them w your teeth. Then spit. Not much work. Kinda fun. And the salt is the best part. No spitting we eat the shells like men. Fish that still has bones in it. Pistachios. I love pistachios. I bought the shelled ones from Costco. But it's not the same experience. The process of opening them and the timing of one every 10 seconds or so. I could eat a whole bag. Oranges. I love the taste and juice but they make your hands super sticky. Make it a shower orange. Tear into it like a madman, no need to worry about the mess. Eating fruit in the shower. Why didn't I think of that, that's fucking genius. I don't know if you guys get Toblerone in the US. But it's basically delicious Swiss chocolate. Shaped to fuck up the roof of your mouth. Aren't you supposed to break off a piece with your hands and then eat it? Oh look everyone, the chocolate rules lawyer is here to tell us all how it's done. If you or a loved one has been injured by a Toblerone you may be entitled to a substantial cash settlement. You really need to watch some tutorials on how to eat Toblerone. Crawfish. Being from Baton Rouge, I love a good crawfish boil but the time and effort it takes to peel them makes it a pain in the ass for sure. Some people are better at peeling than others and I'm better than average I'd say but it still can cut up your fingers. Also, with the time it takes to peel them versus the low yield, I usually just have to fill up with the corn and potatoes. Otherwise I'll just be hungry still no matter the amount. Still a fun and tasty event. Blue crabs. They are tiny little creatures. Take a lot of work to open and get the meat. But they are the best tasting things ever cooked. Leeches. You gotta twist them off the branch. Peel off the rough skin. Chew the sweet delicious fruity flesh off and somehow prevent yourself from accidentally swallowing the stone. But it's worth it for that sweet goodness. Huh. I've always thought lychees are quite simple and easy to eat. Break through the skin with your fingernail around it. Crack it open and you can plop out the lump of flesh like an eyeball. Pop out the lump of flesh like an eyeball, and all of a sudden, they're now almost impossible for me to eat. The Nature Valley Granola Bars. Those are an outdoor-only snack. Barbecued Watermelon Slices. If you put a slice of watermelon on a barbecue, the outside caramelizes while the inside stays juicy. But you have to sit there watching it thinking, I could have eaten it by now. Till you can barbecue watermelon. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.